Hey everyone, we had a big week in uh, markets last week. Notably, we actually saw US markets, so the S&P 500 underperform on a global scale. And uh, I'm not quite sure how much of the headlines that grabbed, but uh, it's uh, interesting to have seen such a big rally in Asian markets. We do think uh, there is a possibility for that to continue um, for a while, largely because people are now very underweight and China is really supporting that stock market and uh, to some extent the economy. Um, what's really important though, and this is really the message I want to quickly bring about here before we start off this week, is this uh, global liquidity. This is something that uh, uh, we like to track and it's the blue line here is what you want to uh, watch. And you can see this stuff is actually, cyc is actually cyclical, meaning it goes up and it goes down. And so typically when uh, liquidity goes back up, so this blue line, which is now rising again, that tends to be supportive of equity markets. Now, the question, of course, is how long? Uh, my estimation is maybe this lasts you know, into early next year. We will see. But for right now, the point is that it's rising. It doesn't mean it has to go all the way up here, right? You can see it in the past if it... You know, it didn't always go all the way up there. It's not the point, but it's rising. And so that should be supportive for, for equity markets. Again, between the Fed cutting rates, the Europeans cut rates, the Swiss cut rates this past week. And of course, China uh, did what they did, which is most importantly, what happened last week is supportive of, of risk assets. However, before we get too much ahead of ourselves, uh, as far as US markets are concerned, uh, there is an important seasonality pattern. I wanna just quickly point out, We've pointed this out to clients now for some time, nothing new. I've probably mentioned it here publicly as well. But um, what's interesting is that if you look at the 2021 and 2013, that's those two years up there, you can see in those years, the market actually traded pretty well through September. But then as we got into early October, there was a dip, a seasonal pause, whatever you want to call that. Um, and this year, of course, that would make a lot of sense because we have the election, it's a bit uncertain in terms of um, institutional investors are not gonna commit a lot of capital ahead of that. So I would expect US equities to take a breather here for the next few weeks. But again, don't uh, lose sight of the, the global liquidity cycle, which is why we, one of the reasons why we also think that US equities will have another bid later on this year. Hope it helps and have a good start to the week.